Hey guys, so uh, last night was my school's prom, and needless to say, I came home with less dread extensions than I left with, so I'm going to use this as an excuse to teach you how to make dread extensions. Um, materials. You're going to need your handy dandy crochet hook, some scissors, um, this... Uh, I don't know, people have pronounced it as like cane colon, cane colon, whatever. Um, I'm just too poor to buy like human hair extensions. Um, so I make do. That's what these are, but honestly, like when they first go in, they're all like rough and gross, but I don't know, after a while they, they get a lot softer. Um, let's get started. Okay, so you're gonna want to section off the piece of hair that you're going to make the dread extension with both length and like thickness of the dread um the one that i'm trying to fix is just about this long and this thick so i've already got it sectioned off um ordinarily you'd want to use rubber bands but i can't find any so i just use two bobby pins like this um kind of ghetto but it works so yeah you're gonna want to cut that off just leave like a little nubbins because that's what's going to attach to your actual dread. So let me get this out of the way. Um, I'm sorry that my desk is kind of messy right now, but I don't know. It's all paint, and I'm an artist and that kind of crap. Um, ordinarily, I I don't know. You want to hold it down, so I'm going to actually use a piece of tape. It'll hold down the hair so nothing gets out and it'll keep it in place. Um, so if you want to back comb it like that, but I don't know, palm roll it. Oh, it got kind of pissed. Oh well, it'll all get crocheted in. Oh, it got really pissed. Yeah, but just palm roll it. It'll all be crocheted and it looks like that, so just get it all together. So you've got like this clumpy thing going on. Um then you want to crochet. This is the part that takes the longest, so I don't know, you just wanna go in and out. You know how to crochet if you've got dreads. I don't know, there's thousands of videos on how to crochet them, so I'm sure you could look that up, but just do that for a while. Okay, so after crocheting it, this is what your little dread extension should look like. Just sort of fright, frizzy on one end, and I usually blunt the tips of mine, so that's why that's all blunted. Um, I don't know, just palm roll it. When it's like this, uh, when it's however tight you want it. I usually get mine pretty tight. Um, when it's however tight you want it, you want to attach it to your head, which I will show you. Okay, so you got your dread extension, right? And then uh, this is the dread I'm going to be attaching it to. As you can see, it's like significantly shorter than all the rest. Um, yeah, I lost the extension last night. So, I don't know, you want to sort of make an opening in the little hair and just stick your dread right up in there, right up in there, uh, and then just sort of push it down and hold it in place and then crochet, and crochet until it's like attached. I don't know, you want to get like all the hairs intertwined with, with yours. Um, just get it all matted and stuff. Uh, don't worry, you can actually, you can take these out really easily, even though it seems like you're attaching them, like, permanently. It's, it's really easy to get them out. So, keep crocheting. Okay, I am just about finished attaching this. And okay, so once you attach it, like, fully, um, you want to get your handy dandy hair straightener, um, and you want to turn that on, get it all heated up, 
and all that stuff, and then you're going to seal it, which will be next. There it is. See, it's finally long enough like the other ones, a little like short and sticking out. See. Okay, so because Kinecolon is made out of uh, plastic, I do believe it melts. It melts quite easily, and that's what sealing it is. Um, I don't know. You go around it with the hair straightener. And mine's almost heated up. Okay, so you go around it with it with the hair straightener, just twisting it, making sure it sort of melts. But you don't want to get it like super duper duper melted because then it'll get really rough and gross. You just want to seal it enough so that it won't come apart. And the trick is finding that hair straightener setting. I do mine on medium low, and it seems to get it all right. And now, there is your new dread extension. Ta da! Uh, anyways, that's how that was. Um, I think I'm going to start having a new video every Sunday because I'm always just chilling here at my dad's house and I get really bored. It's like, Maybe I should make a new video. So, new video every Sunday. This week's was how to make a drug, dread, drug extension. Dread extension. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't know if you've got any suggestions. Comment below. Inbox me. Anything like that. Um, yeah. It's going to be cool. So, hopefully all of you have your new dread extensions and you're pleased with them. I will see you on the flip-flop. Peace out.